guys, thanks so much for watching. Welcome back to my channel. For today's video, I'm doing a what I eat in a day video. I know a lot of you guys really like these videos and I haven't ever filmed one before, so I thought it'd be the perfect time to share this with you guys. I wanted to film one of these videos because I think it's fun just to see a peek into someone's life, what they do on just a regular day, so I'm just going to jump right in and get started. So when I wake up on a weekday, it's typically around like 6.30, 7, and I will just have a coffee and something small. One of the first things I do on a weekday is work out in the morning. And personally, I'm never hungry in the morning unless I was like sleeping in or something. So I will just have something small before I work out. I figure that's better than not having anything at all. So that's just what I do. Fruit and a coffee, something like that is perfect for me. So by like the mid-morning time, I'm definitely really hungry and want something a little more substantial. So then I typically will go for some light wheat toast. It's really high in fiber, so it's really healthy. It's from Trader Joe's, by the way, in case you guys are wondering. And then I like to mash up avocado with just salt, pepper, red pepper flakes, a little hot sauce. Put that on the toast with two eggs. I like them over medium kind of over medium well so they aren't too runny just since I'm just having it like right on top of toast and I love that. It's really filling, it has a lot of healthy fats so it definitely keeps me full for a really long time. So I didn't include what I like to drink just because I'm always drinking water or a lot of times I'm drinking these. It's by the Meyer brand. It's sparkling water with flavor. So this one is the orange mango. They have like strawberry lemonade. There's so many really good flavors. If you guys don't have a Meyer in your area, it's like a grocery store. So I'm sure you can find something similar, but I really like these because there isn't any calories or aren't any carbs, sugars, anything like that. It's just Really simple but really good. I also like to drink coffee. I'm working on my second one of the day right now and it's like three o'clock. So I almost always either have water, one of these, or coffee. That's just pretty much the only things I drink. I honestly don't really like soda at all. Sometimes I'll have Sprite if I don't want water at a restaurant or something like that, but I'm really not a soda person. So I pretty much just stick with these three things. Since I have a heartier breakfast in the late morning, I typically am not hungry for lunch for quite a few hours, so around 1.45 or 2, I typically will make myself a plate of a bunch of different things. I'm kind of weird when it comes to eating, like I would rather have 15 bites of something different than 15 bites of the same thing, so I just like to try a lot of different things. Typically for lunch, I'll have some berries. I love tropical fruit, but it has way more sugar in it than berries, so I typically will just stick with those. And then hummus, the hummus that I like, I think it's Sabra brand. I don't know if I'm saying it right, but I think it's Sabra. The roasted pine nut is so good. And then I just like snap peas and some pita chips for the hummus. Snap peas are really good. They're sweet, but they have a lot of texture. It's similar to the texture of like a chip or a cracker. So obviously it doesn't have that like fried flavor we all love, but just for like the texture, I think those are really good with dips. And then, like I said, some pita chips, and sometimes I just rip apart a little bit of cheese and salami or something like that for a little protein. So I just make kind of like a sampler platter, I guess, that's relatively healthy but still filling. So typically, that's what I'll do just at home for lunch. And then for dinner at home, a lot of times I'll make, it's kind of like inspired by Chipotle, honestly. I love Chipotle, but obviously those are huge portions. And I try and stay away from the carbs when I can. So I will have it without like rice or beans, anything like that. It's just meat and peppers and onion. The one I'm showing you guys today is with some ground beef. Sometimes I do it with ground turkey or chicken. I like to mix it up a little because I honestly make this all the time. So I'll just have the meat with the peppers in it and a little bit of some low-fat shredded mozzarella, some shredded romaine, avocado again because I'm obsessed with avocado, tomato, sometimes some sour cream and hot sauce because those are my faves and it's really filling but it's low carb so I'm really not into dieting. I just 
I don't know, I try not to think that way. I try and just eat as healthy as I can. And then if I really want a cheeseburger, if I really want a cookie or something like that, then I'll eat it. I just work out throughout the week and I try and stay really healthy, but I definitely think we all deserve to indulge every once in a while. I think life's too short to just stick to a harsh diet. At least for me personally, I'm just not into that. I just try and make smart decisions. So if you really want something, then eat it, but just try and eat healthier. That's what I do. Like I know on the weekends, typically we're out a lot at restaurants, so I know I won't be eating that healthy. So then throughout the week, I try and eat really healthy. I think just planning ahead and thinking about it like that, like works for me. I really don't think about it like being on a diet. I just try and make smart decisions for myself. So I feel like that's just a good way to look at it because I don't think we should put pressure on ourselves as far as what we eat. Just making smart decisions, I guess, is like the one thing that I stand by. So yeah, I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please thumbs it up so I know to make more videos like this in the future. And thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.